Hello, another beautiful day in Florida. All right, so gonna be taking a quick look today at the ESI foam bike grips. I've made the switch a couple years ago on uh, all of my mountain bikes. I've got it on my Specialized, running them on the Trek, and uh, my wife's even got them on, uh, on her uh, Giant there. So uh, we've made the switch completely over to these grips. Um, all three are running the Extra Chunky, which is an actual, it's actually a pretty good size grip there. Um, I don't have huge hands, but you know, it still to me is a pretty comfortable grip. They've got some different models out. Uh, they've got the extra chunky. They've got, I think, just a regular size and extra large. Um, the chunkies, the, ex the extra chunkies, I think they have a slim. Don't quote me on that. Um, and I think they just came out with the, the ribbed, if I'm not mistaken, also. So a few different models there on the ESI grips, but uh, just my personal preference, personal riding style, I really like the uh, extra chunkies. So this particular set's been on about a year. Um, I don't know if you can see in the video or not, but starting to get a little wear, uh, some flaking and some degradation there. Uh, I live in Florida, sweat a lot. You know, I do wear gloves when I bike, so they're kind of abrasive and I sweat through them. So uh, this is pretty minimal uh, for me for a year worth of uh, riding in Florida, uh, actually holding up pretty good. Uh, if we go over and look at the bike that I don't ride two or three times a week, uh, the track, the e-bike here, you can see they're holding up a lot better. Uh, these are actually older than the ones on the Specialized, but like I said, I ride this thing probably two or three times a week, a couple hours each ride at least. So uh, they definitely get some use on it. Now my wife's, other than the tight corners she likes to take, um, are still in pretty darn good shape. Uh, she doesn't ride nearly as much as I do, um, and they're holding up really well as well. Uh, as you can see, they come in some different colors. She has the lime green on there. I rock the standard black. I've had some orange ones on uh, on an older Trek. Um, so they've got a couple different color options out there to kind of customize and really tune it in for what you want. Um, super affordable. I think these are running right about $25, uh, 30 bucks for these extra chunkies, I think I, is what I paid. Um, very easy to replace, uh, put on and off. Just get you an air compressor, uh, you know, something like that guy down there. Uh, get you some air under there and kind of blow it as you slide them on. Uh, you can use like a soapy water type solution. Um, ESI has a, some videos on a couple different methods to get them on and off, but um, I personally use some Dawn dish soap and a little bit of water, uh, the old golf golf club, golf grip trick. Uh, not sure how great of an idea that was on these since they're foam and they are porous. I uh, don't know if any of that soap material that Dawn has gotten into these, uh, but I will say that they've not slipped, they've not spun or anything like that, even when I soak them with sweat. So. Um, you know, I think they're probably pretty good with that Dawn mixture, but, uh, overall, like I said, just, uh, really enjoy these grips. I've tried the stock specialized, the rubber ones. They're not hateful. Um, you know, tried a couple different Amazon options out there. I tried the paddle grips where you got the little paddle for your side of your hand there. Um, you know, a couple different styles, but overall at the end of the day, the ESI just takes the cake. Um, you know, they're also, they're American made, uh, you know, they've got a, a family owned and operated company. So that also stands out quite, uh, quite big to me. Um, so, you know, very affordable, easy to put on, put off, very ergonomic, very comfortable. Um, they don't slip, you know, even barehanded, as you can see here, they're not slippy. Um, you know, even I've got pretty clammy hands they actually still keep pretty good grip. Uh, like I said, I do wear a glove, uh, when I bike, but even without, they would still do a pretty darn good job. Well, I uh, hope, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for checking out and highly recommend if you get the chance, check out ESI Grips. Maybe swing by your local bike shop uh, that might carry them. Try out the different sizes, see what fits best for you and what you like. But definitely recommend if you're in the grip market, check out ESI. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you all next time.